<laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> um, tofu is not uh, one of my favorite things, so <laughs> as you can tell. Um, unbelievable, you guys. I literally think. Let's start. Greetings, President Stone, <laughs> distinguished guests, families, and especially to you guys that are graduating tonight. You did a fantastic job the last two years. First thing I'd like to do is recognize military family, family members, and healthcare members for uh, doing what you guys do, especially in the last two years. You guys have done a fantastic job with COVID and everything. So, granted, these students did a great job, but with the family members between the two, I think you guys helped out and with the strong, continued care of business, with smile and determination, you guys did a great job. So, I applaud you guys. Next, I'd like to recognize two individuals that have what one would say kind of molded me. At my age, it's kind of hard to do, but <laughs> one is uh, Julie Soul, who couldn't be here tonight. Uh, Julie is my mentor, my friend, and actually she was my instructor when I graduated from here. So seeing she's not here, I can say she's much older than I am without getting hurt. <laughs> Next is my wife, Anita, who I had to bring, uh, being married to 30, for 37 years, as Grace said, I just wanted to bring her to show you guys that she does not have a halo around her. <laughs> no, she does not. <laughs> and no, she's not a martyr, so let's not go over there. I believe this class has developed and grown from the first day together and individually. They have developed inner strength, the ability to show emotions to others, the ability to openly discuss differences of opinions without any negativity, confronting, comforting and confronting each other. Uh, they saw families grow, babies born or will be born, <laughs> cry through many trying times and occasionally, yes, occasionally laughed as a group at themselves or eh, maybe an instructor or two. <laughs> Could be. So I believe that in these past two years will remain as one of your most important and special times in your life and, you, and also in your hearts. Think about it, guys, these two years. The Jefferson Community College nursing program has been highly regarded for many, many years and throughout this New York State, sending out great graduate nurses that succeed fantastically. This class, I believe, will not disappoint. I see each student's eyes, their desire to succeed, and I can visualize them in a role that they will prosper. Each one of you guys is going to prosper. It's going to be fantastic for you. This class must be, though, this class must be very religious be, or spiritual. I don't know, because each semester progressed when one of us faculty members would start a lecture, lecture or a lab, each one of us would look up in the sky and say, oh, Lord. <laughs> I'm thinking, well, man, okay, I'll pray too. Years ago, many, especially the faculty members we have here, that graduated from nursing schools, options were very minimal. I mean, you could work on the floor, you could work in the ER, you could work OR, maternity, <laughs> a doctor's office, or public health. Any RN that's going for a bachelor's degree back then was management material. So, you stayed away from that. Today, you have so many options, guys. Think about it. You can go from acute care, long-term care, legal, preventative medicine, rehab, 
One can specialize in wound care, addiction. You can be a clinical leader. You could be a nurse practitioner. You can be a nurse, you could be a um, physician's assistant. You can do travel nursing. You can do telemedicine. You can do consulting. Heck, even you can do ro go into robotic surgery, things like that. The door is wide open to you. There is nothing standing in your way. This is the perfect time. So I want you to grab for it. I want everyone in this graduating class to know, and as past graduates, that this is the hardest degree, and I've told you many times before, this associates in nursing is the hardest degree you will ever have to get. Anything after this is going to be a lot easier. Going for your bachelor's, going for your master's, going for a specialized, anything. Associate's degree is the hardest. You have to clap, your, put, clap yourself on the back and say you did it. So smile. I mean, think about it. Coming in here, it's the beginning. An individual coming in to the associate's degree as a layperson, a certified nurse's assistant, or even an LPN, and then leaving as a registered nurse. Anything after this is going to be easier for you, much more attainable. You made it. I'm proud of you. I'm very proud of each and every one of this graduating class. I mean, the adventure has just started. Where it takes you, each one of you depends on you. So, hold on, I missed a spot. <laughs> Where it takes each one of you will depend solely on you as an individual, your desire, and how you want to help change the healthcare environment. So, I'm asking you, tonight, after this is done, go enjoy yourself, relax with family members, friends, have a great time. Digest what you have just accomplished in the last two years. And then when you wake up tomorrow, a few, of course, a few of you will wake up later than the others, but uh, it's up to you. Look in the mirror, smile at yourself, and say to yourself, I did it. I'm a graduate nurse. And then smile again and say, I'm going to be a registered nurse because I'm going to pass the next class test. Whatever. <laughs> you know how I am with words. <laughs> Sound it out. We'll be fine. Just don't tell my wife some of the stories I told, okay? <laughs> anyway, remember, keep striving. Like I said prior, this is the start of your journey. And with so many options available to you guys, there's no reason you can't succeed. Remember, you're going to be doing this for the next 30 to 40 years. You have to enjoy yourself doing it. And besides, I'm going to need a nurse in 20 years for my dementia. <laughs> Love every one of you guys. Thank you.